Hello guys. In this course, we want to create a e-commerce shopping cart website with React and Redux. And at the end of this course, you will have a shopping cart demo like this. Add products to your basket like this and remove product from basket. You can filter your products based on their size and also you can order your products based on the price from lowest to highest or reverse. Also, it shows the number of founded products here and it's ready to check out. If you click on a product multiple times, it counts the number of click and add the number of products to your basket. That's it. This simple shopping cart prototype shows how React components and Redux can be used to build a friendly user experience with instant visual updates and scalable code in e-commerce application. You can find the source code at this link. Some frameworks and libraries are used in this project. React for sure is for creating UI, Redux for state management, uh, Node.js which uses a package JSON-Server for RESTful API server. To run the project, open your terminal and clone the repository from GitHub, then go to your folder and run npm install to run you need to run the server first with npm server and to run the application npm start open localhost column 3000 port in the browser to check the application that's it please follow the lessons to create this project in your computer and enjoy this journey. Bye bye. Before diving into code, we need to install tools to develop our e-commerce shopping carts. We need four tools. The first one is VS Code, which you can download from this link and follow the instruction to install VS Code. Also, we need Git which is a version control system. The third tool is Node.js, uh, which you can download from this URL and install it in your computer. And the last one is Yarn, which is a Node.js package manager, which you will need it to work with React. After installing these four tools, we need to config VS Code. First of all, we need to install ES7 React Redux snippet. Click on extension menu and here search for ES7 React Redux snippet. Click on it and click on install because I have already installed ES7 React. You see uninstall, but for your VS Code, you will see install button you will click on it and it will install in a second for windows users you need to config the terminal because we want to change the terminal executor from powershell to bash because after you install the git you will have bash.exe at this address and you need to follow this path from file menu preference setting features and inside the features select terminal and edit on json.setting add this code to the setting.json to let the integrated terminal run bash.exe instead of powershell.exe then restart the vs code now your VS Code is ready to create React app. 
In this lesson, we want to create a React application. We need to follow these steps to create the app. First of all, open your terminal. And here you need to install create React app with this command. Create React app with npm install dash g dash g means globally. Press enter and after a few minutes the create react app CLI will be installed. Now it's time to create a folder for our react application mkdir my projects and cd my projects here it's time to use create react app cli command let's type create dash react dash app and as a parameter uh, you would enter the name of your application which is e-commerce shopping cart Press enter and it takes a while to download the packages for creating your React application. There you are. Now it's time to go to the application folder, which is e-commerce dash shopping dash cart. And here you can use yarn start or npm start to run your application. But before that, we want to go to VS Code for this folder. Type code dot to open VS Code for this folder. And here from terminal menu, use the integrated terminal. And here, run yarn start. That's it. You have your application already and here you have the running version of your application and the VS code shows the source code of your projects. The first step to edit the code is app.js which I will teach you how to do that in next lesson. Please follow the course creating e-commerce shopping cart with React and Redux in next lessons. For showing list of products, we need a RESTful API which returns a arise of products. Let's create the REST API server by json-server npm package. First of all, we need to install this package globally. Open your integrated terminal in VS Code. Press on the plus button to create a new terminal and install json server while installing the json server you can open the public folder and create db.json here this file is a json so it's an object has a property product put the product between quotes and product is an arise of product each product has a title so put the title inside double quote to green t-shirt it also has a price for example 10.5 dollars it has an id which is first and it also has a SKU, which is a unique number to identify this product and description. To create a complete list of products from the GitHub source of the project, which is in this link. Here, I copy the content of db.json and replace it with 
the data here and here is the list of product in db.json. That's it. It's time to create JSON server with this command json server public slash db.json and you need to specify the port parameter which is 8000. So when you press enter, run this address localhost column 8000 slash products, you will see the list of products you specified inside db.json. So your RESTful API server is ready for your React project and you can use this URL inside your project with fetch method. Also, you need to create a product folder inside public folder products and here put images from github repository open the repository link here inside public slash products you can download these 18 files open the file and click on download then press ctrl s and select your folder public products and press save for next 18 products copy the products like this inside the products folder here so your api server and your product images are ready to implement shopping cart application in this lesson, we want to create the first component, which is products list. We want to create this part, which shows the thumbnail of products and a button to add to cart the product. Let's start by adding bootstrap to the project because we use some stuff from bootstrap like uh, container like container roofs columns and thumbnail class to add this let's copy this text and add it to the index.html before the title add the bootstrap style sheet from boots watch the next change is the render method of app Dot js here let's get rid of these tags and change the class name to container and inside the container create a h1 tag with this title e-commerce shopping cart application press and hr and here we would make a roof class name roof and inside the roof we need two columns the first one is for products and the second one is for basket the first column fill eight block and the second column, which is on the right side, fill four block. Here is where the products component will go. Products. The products component accept the products attribute, which is list of products from the state filtered products. And it also accept a handler when you click add to cart. Handle add to cart, which is this dot handle add to. This is the usage of products component. But when you save, you will see an errors which shows products is not defined. So we need to define the products component here. 
let's import we need to put our components inside the component folder and slash products let's create the component folder inside source folder and here we create products.js and here you can create a class-based component with RCC tab. We need to fill the filtered product from JSON server we already created in last lesson. So first of all, we need to create a constructor and run the super here. Here we need to set the state, default value for state. The first one is the products, which is empty array by default. Filtered products, which is also empty. If you check the result, you will see the e-commerce shopping cart show no product. So it's time to fetch products. We use the component lifecycle method component will mount and here we use the fetch method to fetch the products from the restful api we already created at http colon slash slash localhost 8000 slash products inside when we need to convert the results to JSON and the other when which is the data comes from the RESTful API server. Here we use this dot set state for products to data and also we set the filtered products to same data but we will change it when the filter components comes into the picture now it's time to show the products in the product component open the product.js and inside that we want to show the product items which is a constant that comes from this that probes dot products and we use map method to convert the products array to the JSX elements. We use class name thumbnail and text sender. We wrap the thumbnail inside call md4 also here we use class name roof so the Product items class name will be called md4 inside the class name roof. Here we create a link. We want to show the image of product, which its source is slash products. And product.sku dot jpg for the map we need to define the parameter that's it let's get rid of this error by setting the href of this anchor to the id of the product and here there is another error which need to set the alt to the product dot title.
Great. Here we have the image of product and it's time to have the title of product. Let's put the title inside a paragraph. And here, product dot title. Let's check the result here. You see, you don't have the picture of the product. It's supposed to have them inside the products. Oops, we need to add underline one to show the first version. Oh, for the small version of each picture, we need to add underline two. Great. You see, we have list of our products here. We need to also set the price and add to cart button. At the end of the anchor tag, let's create the other div. Here we create a bold element and here show the product dot price and a button which is class name is btn btn default and the onclick method we want to call the this.probes.handle add to cart so change it to the ES6 arrow function which first argument is event and here we call event and the product as a second argument of handle add to cart method add to cart let's use this one for the anchor great this is the result of our code it shows the price and also add to cart button let's change the default to primary to make a contrast between button and the other stuff inside each product thumbnail and let's create a space between price and add to cart like this here I prefer to use a utility function format currency let's create a util.js and inside util.js export default format currency which is a function that accept a number and convert it to currency format return dollar plus number num to fixed to and convert the number to local string and add an space at the end of the price let's use the format currency here format currency to show the product price here we need to import import format currency from let's go back to the previous folder and inside the previous folder util here we need to use util dot format currency and we just need to import util from util that's it and you see the text the price is formatted like this 
Now when you click on the button, you will get an error which shows handle add to cart is not a function. We will resolve this error on the next lessons. We created a products component which shows list of products and when you click on each product, it's ready to add the products to the basket. That's it. For this lesson, for next lesson, we want to add a filter bar at the top of the products, which make sort and filter products by their size. In this part, we're gonna be creating a filter component. Here we need to add filter dot js and use rcc tab to create class based filter class what we wanna do is to create a filter bar like this which comprises of three parts the first one is the number of founded products the second one is the order by select and the last one is filtering by size Let's create this filter in the project. First of all, we need to edit the app.js right before products. We add filter, which auto import from components slash filter. You will see the filter imported here. And it accept size, which comes from this dot state that size also it accepts sort which also comes from this dot state dot sort also the filter need handle change size this dot handle change size and also handle change sort which will be this dot handle change sort. The last attribute of filter will be number of products, which is count. It is the length of filter to product grid. Here is the usage of filter and we put an HR. That's it. We have the filter and we need to implement the filter bar in the filter.js. First of all, we need to create a roof and put three columns there. We use call md4 to create three columns. This is the first one, second one, and the third one. In the first one, we want to show the number of products. So it is like this, this dot props, because in the app.js, we passed the count to the filter components as a props. So here we use this dot props dot count products found. Here you see the result, nine products found. It's time to create sort box. The sort will be here. Let's put this inside label. And here we see order by and put a select here, which its class name is form control. And its value comes from props sort. And the unchanged method also comes from props handle change sort and here where the options goes option the first option value is empty its value is select so the default sort by id the second one is lowest to highest so we need to implement the handle change sort in the app.js because the handle change source comes from the property and the property here is handle change sort. Let's implement handle change sort which accept the event argument and here only we use set state. 
Here it's time to implement list products. Use this dot set state and we use the second form of set state which takes the current state as a parameter for set state and inside here we need to return the next state. First of all we need to check the value of the state dot sort. If it's not empty, we sort by the value of the state dot sort. Here we use the sort method of arise in JavaScript state dot products dot sort. Sort method accepts two object of array. We need to return one or minus one based on the result of sorting criteria. So first of all, we need to check state dot sort if it's lowest we check the value of a dot price less than b dot price we return one else we return minus one and if the state dot sort is highest we change the criteria and make it reverse greater than if the state dot sort is not empty if it's lowest or highest, it will be sorted based on the product price. Else, we sort them based on the ID. If a.id smaller than b.id return 1, else return minus 1, and close the sort method. At the end, it will return filter products equal to state dot products great so we have sorted products here and we set them to the filter product let's check the result here you see the order by the first one is select a second one lowest to highest and the highest to last you will see nothing applied let's check why it doesn't work very good we need to set the key for the items inside products here inside the map we need to set a key which it value is product.id let's resolve these errors and you see it doesn't work again there is a typo error here handle change we need to change the handle change sort with handle change sort here that's it. If you select, you see there is an error. Cannot read property set state of undefined. Handle change sort. We need to bind the handle change sort in the constructor. We need to bind this and check the result. You see it works. If you select to highest to lowest, oh, it's it's reversed. We need to change it. The sorting criteria. We need to change. And here what we need to do is to change the direction of comparing. Let's check the result. Lowest to highest. You see it's lowest to highest. Highest to lowest. And by ID, here is the default one. Lowest to highest price. Highest to lowest price. And the default one is based on their ID. Great, we implemented the sort. Let's go for filtering by size. To filter by size, we need to implement select inside the third column. Let's copy from the sort and change it to filter size and change the handle change sort to handle change size. And here the value of the size and the select options is these values all the value is empty x s m l x l x x l you see the options here in the app.js we need to implement handle change size by duplicating the handle change sort and replacing the sort by size and here also we set the size and in the constructor method we need to bind size like this because we need to access this dot set state which this 
need to point to the app component. So what remains here is uh, implementing filter inside set state in the list product. So here we check the value of size. If it's not empty, it's not empty, we return an object which filtered the products is state dot products dot filter and we need to only filter the products which the available sizes property contain the state dot size avail sizes dot index of state dot size if there is an item inside available sizes which equal to a state that size its index are zero or greater than zero. Make the size to uppercase. You see, the XL filtered only the t-shirt that have at least one XL size shows in the e-commerce shopping cart application. That's it, we implemented the order by and filtering by size and we are ready to implement the add to basket part which will be placed here and you can add products to the basket in the next part of e-commerce shopping cart application. In this part, we're going to be creating basket component. It's the result and when you click on each product, it will be added to the basket like this and if you click multiple times on a product it will increase the number of items in the basket for the specified product when you refresh the page your items in the basket remains and it will be saved on the local storage of the browser first of all we need to create basket.js which will be our basket component right click on the component new file basket.js and type rcc press tab to create basket class based basket component like this press ctrl s and inside app.js under the right side div add basket and press tab to auto import basket component from dot slash components slash basket we need to set two property for basket component the first one is cart items which will be items dot state dot cart items and the second one is removing item from basket we need to implement handle remove from cart which is handle remove cart. That's it. This is the usage of basket. Let's go for implementing a component. First of all, we need to set default value for cart items to empty array because at the very beginning, there is no item in the basket and inside the basket component in the render method, we fetch cart items from list.probes to make the basket blue we use alert alert info class name and inside that first of all we need to check the value of cart items length if number of item zero we show this message basket is empty else we put a dev and inside dev we show you have number of item in the cart items products in the basket great let's save app.js and basket.js and check the result you see here you see this message the basket is empty handle add to cart 
accept two methods. The first one is the event and the second one is product. When user click on the add to cart button, we need to add the product to the cart item. So this dot set state we use the second form of set state, which takes state as an argument, and inside that we set the cart's item to the constant cart's item from state and set a flag product already in cart to false. For each item inside cart item, if item.id equals to product.id so it's already in the cart and item.count will be increased by one at the end of for loop we check if product is not already in the cart and if it's true we need to add the product to the cart cart items dot push we use a spread operator for products and join it with count one that's it here to save the product in the local storage we use local storage that set item and use json stringify for cart items and at the end return cart items let's check the result here we click on add to cart and we see error which shows this that set state is not a function because we need to bind add to cart in the constructor method like this bind let's check the result fail to execute set item on storage requires two parameter instead of one so here i set for local storage that set item save the cart item inside this key cart items that's it let's press you see you have one product in the basket two product three product and if we click multiple time you see only the number of different product will be in the counter let's list product inside basket.js here where we need to check cart item dot length and if it's bigger than zero and here we use a div to show products item in the cart here we use you an ordered list and inside that we use map function for cart item to convert cart item to jsx element each product in the cart item will be inside a list item and inside the list item i use b tag to bold the item that title and show a button to remove btn btn danger and it's x as a remove and inside this button i set the unclick method to this dot handle remove from cart which accept event and inside that event is first parameter and item is the second parameter let's check the result we implemented the basket like this and here next to item.title we need to show item.count so i put an x here which stands for multiply no 
item.title by item.count. Great. Let's check the result. When you click multiple times on a product, you see number of item in the basket increase. You see, when you refresh the page, the item in the basket removes. So what we want to do is to fetch from local storage the saved product in the basket. Let's do that in the app.js. In the app.js and in the component will mount, we need to check local storage dot get items cart items and it if it exists you need to fetch the products from local storage so this dot set state cart items will be json dot parse because value in the local storage is a string and we need to convert the string to JavaScript object. Local storage that get item cart items. Great. Let's check the result and when you refresh the page you see product exists in the basket let's implement the remove product from basket in the basket.js we delegate removing from cart to the probes of basket so in the app.js we need to implement handle remove from cart next to handle add to cart we implement handle remove from cart what we want to do in the handle remove from cart is looking for cart items array and remove the specified item in the item argument so use this dot set state and state as argument and there we check state dot cart items and here we use filter method for each element and if element dot id is not equal to item dot id we add it to the cart items which is a new array the easy job is to return cart items set local storage to the new cart items which excluded the removed product great let's check the result here let's remove handle remove from cart is not a function let's go back to the basket and inside here there is a type error and also we need to bind this for handle remove from cart and the handle remove from cart is ready let's remove item you see it works and basket is empty and if you click on items you see items on the basket at the end of this part we want to show the total prices of products so let's go back to basket.js and here next to cart item.count we put a equals sign and show item dot price multiply by item dot count 
and at the end of list we need to show total price of cars here we use the reduce method of array for cart item and for accumulator and current item let's put these two in parentheses and here we return a plus c dot price multiply by c dot count and the default value for accumulator is zero and before that we show total like this let's check the result and you see let's use util.format currency to format the total value of basket util.format currency and put the result inside this function so we need to import total we need to import so we need to import util from util great you see it's formatted right now and if we add product to the basket you see the total here that's it all we did for developing basket component which enable you to add item to the basket and also remove the basket at the end we just show a checkout button to continue the process button class name btn btn primary and on click will be alert checkout needs to implement and set the caption of button to checkout that's it we have checkout button great that's it for let's put the checkout inside the condition because we don't like to check out empty basket put a br line break oops there is a type error in the cart items need to be cart items to apply removing item from local storage too that's it you see when you click and refresh the products will be removed in this part of react redux shopping cart we're gonna add redux to the project first of all we need to know what the redux is redux is a tool for managing both data state and ui state in javascript application redux separates the application data and business logic into our container in order to let react manage just the view rather than a traditional library or a framework it's a application data follow architecture it's most compatible with single page application where the management of the state over time can get complex here you see the architecture of redux we have some components like ui action store which comprises of state and reducer and there is a data follow between them actions are plain javascript object which are the main source of information used to send data from the application to the store 
any change into the states come from action. Reducers. Reducers are function or pure function that take the current state of application and an action and then return a new state. Store. Store is a JavaScript object which can hold the application state and provide a few helper methods to access the state and dispatch action and register listeners. And the last part of Redux comes to React, which is the UI part. As a UI, you can notify from changing the state from the Redux and you can dispatch an action to change the state of Redux. Now that we know how Redux works, it's time to install Redux and add Redux to our React project. With these three packages, we can add Redux to our React project. The packages are installed and it's time to start adding Redux to the project. First of all, we need to wrap the whole application in the provider. Provider is a component from React Redux which gives the state to the all component inside that. Here we wrap the whole app component inside provider and provider accept attribute which is a store which will be create it in a second. Let's import provider from React Redux. This code will not run because a store is not defined. src folder right click and create new file store.js. Inside that, we want to use the create store method of Redux. Let's import create store from Redux. Create a store is a function that create our Redux store. It takes some parameters. The first one is reducers. We want to define a root reducer in seconds. It's the initial value for state. And the last one is enhancer, which we will use func as an enhancer. Let's define initial state which is an empty object and we need to define root reducer too but before that let's import store here port store from store and make store export default export default create store and you have access the create store from app.js and the error chains uh, because it mentioned that root reducer is not defined before defining reducer we need to create a folder named action inside the src inside action we need to define action type Let's create a file types.js and inside it we just export some constants like fetch products. It's an action and we set this constant to same string fetch products. Also we have some other actions like add to cart like add to cart or removed from cart. Now it's time to create the action for products, product actions. The first action in the product action is fetching product. Let's create this action export const fetch products. It's a function that take another function with dispatch method and it returns an actions. An actions comprises of a type which is 
fetch product and payload which is data comes from ajax request so let's copy the fetch method inside component will mount in the app and put it inside fetch products action and move the return to the result of fetch request and the payload will be the data which is product list and we don't know the set state anymore because the state will be set at the redux not at the component level now that we defined our fetch action it's time to create our reducers the first reducer we want to define is product reducer let's define the product reducer first of all create a folder reducers and inside reducers create product reducer.js reducer evaluate current state and an action and return the new state so let's export default function reducer function accept state which will be set to initial state if there is no state and an action and here let's define the initial state product reducer states are items it's the items of products which will be empty array by default and here we need to evaluate the action with switch case if it's fetch product return default value of state and change the items to action.payload and the default will return current state when the fetch products reducers come in the picture we return default value of state plus replace items with action.payload so when product.action dispatch this action the payload will be filled by list of product from this api and the state in the reducer will get these products and set them into items now that we defined our product reducer it's time to define the root reducer right click on reducer create new file with index.js and inside index.js we use export default combine reducers which comes from redux and here we have name value object the first one is products and the corresponding reducer is product reducers that auto imported from dot slash product reducer so we can have access to the product from store by state dot products let's go back to store.js and here we need to import root reducer from go to reducer and it automatically select index.js in the reducer folder now that we did all the boilerplate for redux it's time to add redux to the react component the first component we're gonna do is products we want to show the list of products by the products that comes from redux store to do that first of all we need to move export default from class at the end of the products component and here we use connect 
it connects our component to the Redux store. It comes from React dash Redux. Connect method need two set of parentheses. The last one will be filled by the component name and the first one accept two parameter. The first one is map state to props. Let's define map state to props. It takes state of Redux and return an object which is a name value. Let's map the state dot products dot items to products. So I put products that comes from state of Redux products items and put them inside parentheses and add map state to props as a first argument of connect and the second one is the action the action we're gonna use is fetch products let's import fetch product action let's go back one folder back inside action product actions great the last step is to call the fetch product action in the lifecycle method of products component will mount component will mount and inside this method we need to call this dot props dot fetch products you see the result which shows list of products here that's it it's all about adding redux to the react project in the next part we will be adding add to cart action where redux action in this part we want to add filter products to the redux here in the application if you check the product filter does not apply to the product items so what we want to do in this part is applying filtering by size to the list of products before that let's edit store.js and add redux dev tools it enable you to watch all the actions and their payload and changing the state and finding differences between each state in the store of redux let's do that by adding this code to the create store what we need to do is to open store.js and inside that define compose enhancer it check this variable window.redux devtools extension compose and we also need to import compose from redux if window.redux devtools extension compose exists we use that else we use the default compose from redux and use compose enhancer to wrap apply middleware like this now we connected our redux store to the redux devtools extension to the chrome the next step is to install Redux DevTools extension from Google Chrome Store. You see, you have your actions here, the fetch products action runs and it shows the change and difference between previous state and the next state and it will help you to find bugs and uh, develop better with uh, transparency. If you don't have this extension you can download Redux Dev Tools. In this page, you can install this extension. Let's go for filtering products. First of all, we need to add the specified action for filtering products. We want to call that filter products by size. Let's add this constant to the types.js. Open types.js 
and duplicate one of constant and rename it to filter products by size and set its value to that string next step is create the relevant action for filter by size what we want to do is to create filter product action so open product.action and you can duplicate fetch products and rename it to filter products filter products takes two parameters the first one is the list of all products and the second one is the size which we want to filter products based on the size inside that let's get rid of this code and what we want to do in this method is to filtering product by the size here we need to dispatch an action so return dispatch the action type is filter products by size and the payload is an object which its items depends on the value of size if size is empty we return the products itself else we filter products based on the size products dot filter and for each item in the product we check available sizes dot index of filter size dot to upper case greater than or equal to zero and the next item in the payload is the size itself that's it we implemented the product action related to filter products let's go for product reducer we want to add a switch case to filter product by size open reducer folder product reducer and duplicate the field the case for filter products by size and here we want to add another property which is filtered items which is action that payload that items and the other one is size which is action dot payload dot size this values comes from product action you see payload size and item will be filled here for filtered item and size let's set the initial value for filtered item to empty array and size to empty string all is set in the product reducer let's go for filter component we need to connect filter component to redux store we need to change multiple place in the filter component first of all we need to open this component and move export default from class to the end of the code and use connect from react redux to connect filter component to redux store like previous part connect comprises of two parentheses and the last one takes filter component and the first one uses map state to props function which take state of redux and return an object shows products that comes from state products items and also size which is state dot products dot size let's use map state to props and the second parameter of connect is the action which is filter pro Products. let's import filter products from action product action 
and what remains here is to change a unchanged event of filtering by size we need to get rid of this and use event arrow function and this dot props dot action name filter products and it accepts two parameter if you check the product action you see it accepts products and size so let's pass this dot props dot products and the size will be event dot target dot value the last part is to edit products dot js component let's open product dot js here instead of filling products property with estate.products.items we need to change the items to filtered item and here we need to set filtered item to action.payload for fetching products let's check the result here I refresh the page and here I filter product by size and you see it works only show this size small or I select large you see only show products with size large now that we implemented the filtering by size let's implement ordering here if you select lowest to highest or reverse the items in the product list will not change we want to change their order by the order selected here to do that we need to follow steps like filtering products so first of all open product action but before that add the specified action here the action name is order product by price and set its value to that here inside products action duplicate filter products and change it to sort products it accept products and sort and here we use order products by size and the sort will be is and and here it's a bit tricky because we want to sort the items in the product items let's copy the source algorithm from the app.js and put it here so there is no need state dot and we just set to product that's it we created the sort products and here we check the sort value if it's dot empty we check the sort if it's lowest we show items from lowest price to highest price and if it's not we make the sort descending but if sort is empty we sort them by their ID and at the end of the sort products we dispatch the action to the reducer so go to the reducer and here duplicate filter product by size and change it to order product by price and here set the sort great let's go to filter and here we need to add sort to map state to props and here we need to add another action which is order sort products let's bring sort products from products action and we need to also add filtered product here because we need them to sort and inside the sort let's change the sort handler to filter sort products action and the first parameter is this dot props dot filtered 
item oops sorry filtered product because we mapped it to filtered product and the second parameter is event dot target dot value let's format the code and here we check the result and you see it works when you change the order by highest to lowest it show the highest value of products at top and the lowest at the bottom that's it about filtering and sorting products by redux the last point of this is in the sort products action before using the first parameter which is filtered item we need to use slice method to make a copy of the array and put it in the products because redux cannot find out how to deal with updating and replacing items in an array so we need to make a copy and replace the new copy with the previous one in the state in this lesson we're gonna be managing cart by redux here we have implemented adding item to cart and also removing item from cart they are not in the redux store but they are in the component store let's move them to redux store before that let's clean app.js open app.js and here we do not need constructor anymore handle sort and handle chain and also list product great the app component is clean now it's time to create action types for adding to cart and removing from cart open actions types and here we created already add to cart constant and remove from cart constant the next step is to create cart actions cart actions.js and here we need to export constant the first action is add to cart this function accept two parameter the first one is items of cart and the second one is the item we're gonna add to the cart and here like previous actions we defined it returns another function which takes dispatch as an argument and here we need to copy from handle add to cart content here and remove the state related stuff first of all we need to copy items with slice function and put it inside a constant named cart items we define flag product already in cart let's rename the item to product because we're gonna add this product to the cart item and if product is not in the cart we push it to the cart item and at the end we save the cart items in the local storage at the end of this function get rid of return cart items and what we want to return is dispatch and we want to dispatch an action the action type is add to cart and the payload cart items which its value is cart items let's create a reducer for cart inside the reducer folder create cart reducer.js and we just copy product reducer boilerplate the initial state for cart is just items in the cart which is empty by default and the only action we're gonna put in the switch case is add to cart and we just remove the others from import in the add to cart case we want to return the new state the new state is the items that comes from actions dot 
payload.cartitems. We need to add cart reducer to the root reducer open index.js in the reducer folder and add cart reducer like this. Let's implement remove from cart action here export const remove from cart it's like add to cart accept items and the product we're gonna remove from the basket inside remove from cart we're gonna use the code in the app.js inside handle remove from cart so we do not need them anymore let's remove code related to adding and removing from cart in the app.js because we transferred them to the cart actions and here let's get rid of set state what we do in this line is to create a copy of items in the cart and remove the items that is equal to product and in this line we save the cart items in the local storage and at the end we need to dispatch action remove from cart with related payload which is cart items now it's time to edit basket component open basket component and cut export default and move it to at the end of the page and we wanna connect basket to the redux store let's we use connect and like before two parentheses and the last one takes basket and the first one takes map state the first props will be cart items that comes from state dot cart dot items and we put it as a first argument of connect and the second argument is action which is remove from cart let's include remove from cart from cart action and here connect comes from react redux here we need to edit remove button and unclick we use remove from cart and it takes this dot props dot cart items as a first argument and the second argument is the product now it's time to edit products component we need to change handle add to cart to the action add to cart in the cart action so let's import the action here and add it from cart actions add to cart the first argument is this dot props dot cart items and the second one is the product we're gonna add to the cart so here we need to put cart items as a props cart items comes from state dot cart dot items and we do not need e anymore and the unclick for anchor will be like the unclick for add to cart button the last step to make basket works is fetching cart items from local storage let's open store.js and here initial state need to check local storage dot get item cart items and if it exists we need to set initial state dot cart its items need to come from local storage we need to use json dot parse to convert a string to javascript object oops there is a mistake in cart actions the dispatch method takes types not action as a first property let's check the result and here we're gonna add item 
click add to cart and you get an error which cannot read property cart items of undefined let's fix this error oops there is a type error it's gonna be payload not playload also we need to edit cart actions and change a splice to a slice that's it we are ready to go if you click on add to cart you will see your product is going to add to the basket and if you click removing item from basket doesn't work because we need to add the specific case in the switch case for cart reducer let's open cart reducer and here create a case for remove from cart and here the cart items that comes from dispatch in the remove from cart will be replaced with the items in the store let's check the result if you click on the remove button it's gonna work and we implemented add to cart remove from cart with redox store thank you guys let's fix the last problem in the e-commerce shopping cart it doesn't show the number of product open filter component and here we want to change this.props.count to the count of products inside filtered product dot length that's it we have number of products here thank you for watching this video and at the end of this video you know how to create a shopping cart with reactant docs in next courses i will teach you how to create a real world backend for it and make checkout form and many other stuff you will need to create a real-world application with React and Redux.